Hello, I am Jin Huo from We Learn to Share, and in this video and a couple of more, we are going to be discussing about AP microeconomics. So let's begin. Before we actually start studying about microeconomics, let's just take a brief look about how my videos are going to be like. Uh, what you see above is a table provided by College Board, and it contains the six units of microeconomics. And during our videos from February to October, August, we are going to be studying from unit one to unit four. So just let's take a brief look at what chapter is what. Uh, unit one, basic economic concepts talk about things such as scarcity, production possibilities, curve, comparative advantage in trade, and more. So basically, these are the uh, very basic and fundamental concepts that are used to understand economics. In unit two, supply and demand, we will learn about supply, demand, elasticity, market equilibrium and more. So these are basically about what is supply, what is demand and how the two interact with each other. In unit three, we, were, we are going to be studying about production, cost, profit and a perfect competition model. At unit four, we are going to be studying about models in which the competition is not perfect. So for example, a monopoly. My videos are going to be uploaded every second and every fourth Monday of the month. So please take that in mind. And in every video, I am going to be covering about two concepts or two chapters of every, every unit. And after every unit, we are going to be having a wrap up session, which covers the key concepts and ideas of the unit. And if you have time, we are going to be taking a look at some questions. So in today's video, we are going to be learning about the very first chapter of the very first unit, scarcity. So what is actually scarcity? Scarcity is the state in which the demand of a certain good or service is greater than the supply of a certain good or service. And since most of the resources are limited, which means the quantities are not infinite and cannot be produced infinitely, uh, the wants and needs of us to possess a certain good or service is unlimited. So limited resources and unlimited resources limited wants and needs conflict with each other constantly, which forces us to choose between the resources. Anyway, economics is very closely related to this concept of scarcity. Economics is a study about how the resources are allocated in an efficient way. So economics is actually divided into two sectors, microeconomics, which talks about how individuals, households, and firms interact with each other to, to allocate their resources efficiently, or macroeconomics, which views the economic, economy in a bigger perspective and talks about the economy as a whole and covers concepts such as inflation, unemployment, and more. Anyway, since most resources are scarce, we are forced to choose between two or more resources. And we have to choose in means that we can have one, but we cannot have the others. And that's why trade-offs happen. For example, let's say I go to a bookstore and I have to choose between a book about basketball, a book about uh, baseball, a big about football, and I choose a big about basketball. I can uh, that means that I can have the big about basketball, but I cannot have the big about baseball or the big about football. So in this case, the trade-offs, which means the all the alternatives that we could not choose, are the big about baseball and the big about football. Opportunity cost, which is the second most attractive resource that cannot be chosen because I chose the most attractive one is actually a concept sort of included at the trade-off concept. So let's go back to our big problem. Uh, let's say I prefer the big about baseball more than the big about football. In this case, uh, since I chose the big about basketball and did not choose the big of baseball and big of soccer and football, and I prefer the big about baseball more, the opportunity cost of my choice is going to be the big of baseball. So let's take a look uh, at the factors of production, which are the factors that are used to produce a certain good or service. The first factor of production is land. And when I talk about land, it does not only refer to the physical land, land, but it talks about all the natural resources that are used to produce something. So for example, water, oil, wood, and more can now be considered as land. Our second factor of production is labor, which means human work. And when we talk about human work, it does not only mean something physical or something mental or something intellectual, but instead it is talking about the human work as a whole. So every work that is physical or every work that is mental or every work that is intellectual can be considered as labor. 
The third factor of production is capital, which are the equipment and machinery that are used to produce something. So for example, uh, computers, uh, buildings, or a certain type of tool that are used to produce something can be considered as a capital. The fourth factor of production is entrepreneurship, which is the ability to produce something or run an enterprise. So while this factor of production might be considered a little less definite compared to the three of these above, it is still very important to understand what entrepreneurship is and why it is a factor of production. So let's just take a brief review about what we learned today. Scarcity is the state in which the demand of something uh, is greater than the supply of something. And that is why we have to choose between some uh, resources. And that is why trade-offs, the alternatives that I could not choose happen and the opportunity cost happens, which is the second most attractive resource that could not be chosen because uh, I chose the most attractive one. And these are the four factors of production, land, which refers to a natural resource, labor, which refers to human work, capital, which refers to equipment, machinery, and more, and entrepreneurship, which refers to the ability to run an enterprise. So in this video, we talked about scarcity, and uh, please subscribe to our channel, leave a like, and feel free to comment about things that you are curious about. In our next video, we are going to be talking about resource allocation, economic systems, and production possibilities curve. So see you after two weeks. Thank you.